Morning everybody, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to run two instances of Microsoft Teams on your Windows 10 PC. Before we get into it, I want to answer the question of why would you want to run two instances of Teams at the same time? There are two key reasons that I do it. I find that having two versions of Teams open at the same time just help my workflow because I can be in more Teams sites and files at the same time instead of jumping back and forth between a few different channels. The second is if you're part of multiple tenants, such as your organization and you're also a guest in another company tenant, you're probably finding the extra steps of jumping between your organization and your guest tenants a little bit cumbersome, especially if you do it a couple of times a day. The ability to run both your organization and external tenants at the same time on two separate windows means that you can be chatting, collaborating, and working on files on both sites without having to constantly jump between the two. I find this is really good for productivity and your workflow overall. If you find this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge the way you're using Microsoft Teams, hit that subscribe button as well. And with that being said, let's get into it. So you can see down the bottom here, we're running Microsoft Teams through the traditional desktop app, and this is going to be largely unchanged. What I want you to do is go into Microsoft Edge. Hopefully you have the new Edge Chromium version installed, and go to teams.microsoft.com. From here, you want to sign in. It may prompt you to download the desktop app, but underneath that you can see there is a little option that says use the web browser instead. Select the option of use the web browser instead. And you can see here we're now running our Microsoft Teams through the web. I have my desktop team set in dark theme and the web version is running in light. For me, this is a great visual cue to know when I'm using my desktop or know when I'm using the web app. It looks essentially the same, right? You still have your team sites, your channels, your chats, everything's there. So you can run it like this through the web browser and you can run it like this quite happily, but I'm gonna give you a tip of how to turn this into an actual application. What you wanna do on Microsoft Edge Chromium is scroll up to the right hand corner, select the ellipses, and remember, the ellipses in Microsoft always means more. Scroll down to the app section and then select the option of install this site as an app. Let's give it a name, I'm gonna call it Microsoft Teams 2, just so we know it's the second instance of Microsoft Teams, and then we're gonna hit install. You can see that the web browser and the address bar has disappeared and it's actually been replaced by another solid purple line that just says Microsoft Teams. It's looking much more like a full desktop application, right? That's because you've essentially turned that web page into an app. Down the bottom, you can see it's also appeared in your taskbar. So you've got two versions of Teams. The one with the green tick is the desktop version. But if I right click on the new version we've just created, you can see here it says Microsoft Teams 2, and then you have the option of pinning it to your taskbar. That means that you can access and run both sites at the same time, boot up your PC, turn it on, select both of those icons, and you've started running two instances of Teams straight away. If I set these side by side, they almost look identical, but like I said, using the dark and the light thing just helps me have that really quick visual cue of, hey, this is the full desktop app, and this is the web browser that we've turned into an application. You can also pin it to your start menu if you like, and that way you have another way of launching into both versions of Microsoft Teams really quickly and really simply. And it is that simple to get two instances of Microsoft Teams running on your Windows 10 PC. One caveat I will add is that if you are going to do things like video calls, I would recommend still using the official desktop app. You will get a more solid connection as well as more meeting features, such as blurring and changing your background, getting the 7x7 grid view, and a few other bits and pieces that you won't get in the web version. But if you're using it for chat, navigation, and collaboration, it is honestly extremely handy. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Microsoft Teams, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.